Hey everybody, today I want to tell you about a really cool feature that's located within your System Mechanic software, System Mechanic Pro or Ultimate Defense called PowerSense. So the way you access PowerSense is first by opening up System Mechanic, clicking on the performance dashboard, and then from the dropdown, selecting Live Boost. Underneath this configuration, you'll see a bunch of line items that are toggled on. And down at the bottom is PowerSense. And then there's also a drop down here where you can select different modes. So there's different modes depending on how you're using your computer. And what PowerSense is going to do is going to unlock more processing power for times when you need it and save it when you don't. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you what your computer looks like from a processing standpoint, and we'll benchmark it and show you how it's utilizing or saving power. And then we'll also turn PowerSense on and we'll see how we're getting extra power from those cores. And so when you're doing things like gaming or, or graphic design, how it's going to give you a little bit more boost. All right, so I've pulled up my benchmark software. And what we're going to do is we're going to run this CPU benchmark with PowerSense turned off, just so we can get a baseline. So let's go ahead and click Run CPU Benchmark. And this is going to take a few, mo few moments. So I'm going to fast forward in the video to where we go ahead and get our results. Okay, so our results are in with PowerSense turned off. So here's our computer name, single core score of 15 and 27, multi-core score of 5809. It's gonna display our system information. We saw this information before on the benchmark tool. CPU information, memory information, and then it's gonna go into specific single core performance. So scroll down now, multi-core performance. Now what we're going to do next, if we're going to go back into System Mechanic, and we're going to turn PowerSense on, and then we'll run another benchmark scan, and then we'll compare the results. Okay, so I've got System Mechanic pulled back up. Once again, go to Performance and Dashboard from the drop down, select Live Boost, and under Configuration, I'm going to go ahead and toggle on PowerSense. And now I have this drop down with seven different modes. So just so we can show a real comparison, let's say I'm going, I'm getting ready to game or I'm gonna do something really intensive. So let's go ahead and just put it into gaming. All right, and so now I'll run a new benchmark test and we'll see what we get. Okay, with PowerSense turned on, we're gonna go right back into our benchmark tool and we're gonna run the CPU benchmark test again. And so I'll stop the recording and we'll come back with the results. All right, so we're back. From running another benchmark scan with PowerSense turned on. So we've got new single core scores and multi core scores to report. So before it was 1527, now it's 1532 for the single core score. The new multi core score is 5812 against 5809. So you can see a nice noticeable improvement on both. We'll scroll down and see system information. And then this is where it's going to go into specifics for single core performance and multi core. So this is really nice to see because you can see where just by changing the mode, remember we put this in gaming, it's going to allocate performance towards uh, what you need and take away what you might not need. So we'll go down to multi core. And as you can see across the board, really nice improvements. And again, this was super easy to accomplish. This was just as easy as toggling on a switch and turning PowerSense on and making sure you select the mode that's most applicable to what you're using your PC for. Another great way the system mechanic is boosting your performance.